4.5 million people go to the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore and visit the Duomo made by Filippo Bruno last year. The dome is one of the oldest in Florence, and without this great architecture from Brunelleschi, Florence would not be what it's like today. Filippo Brunelleschi was born in 1377. He was born during the Italian Renaissance. Throughout his childhood, he had a great education. Filippo Brunelleschi was a famous self-taught architect in the Italian Renaissance. The Italian Renaissance was the time after the Dark Ages in Europe. It was the rebirth of Europe. Out of the Renaissance came some of the most famous artwork. Before Filippo Brunelleschi was an architect, he was a sculptor. The sculpture and design of the Duomo is extremely complex and intricate. The cathedral started in 1296. They constructed the ba base and the other parts. But Brunelleschi didn't come in till they had to make the dome. The tricky part about making the dome was making sure it did not collapse without a wooden structure and for how big it is. He made the dome extremely light so it could balance itself out. He put in support beams that weaved into each other. His design of the dome should forever be remembered. Brunelleschi influenced some of the most famous people. For example, Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. Many people see him as the first Renaissance architect, even though 500 years later he was forgotten in the shadows. But his concept and inventions, for instance, the linear perspective, which has been one of the most influential in architecture, help you understand the size of shapes and if your scale model is correct. He influenced Da Vinci with his new styles that contained lots of geometric designs. This was a big thing that Da Vinci used. Overall, Brunelleschi's design styles and architecture are so influential. Brunelleschi died at the age of 89, years before the Duomo was finished. Filippo Brunelleschi is still regarded as the father of modern architecture because of his new styles of Gothic architecture and the linear perspective. He was ahead of his time in many ways, and it is difficult to measure how many future generations were shaped by his accomplishments. Now, 600 years later, he is still influential.